super cool. It makes a really good keepsake, too. And if you're new to our show, hi, I'm Riley. I'm Grace. And I'm Grace. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. For more videos in the future, make sure to hit that notification bell. Now on to the video. And the things you'll be needing for this craft are... You'll need one styrofoam cone. We used a 9 inch, a 12 inch, and a 16 inch. Any color yarn, rhinestones, plastic wrap, Mod Podge. All right guys, so we're all going to be doing our trees a little bit different. The first step is I'm going to be using the nine inch cone and using the sparkly green yarn. We made these little cone pieces to have a tip on the top of our tree out of just some paper rolled up with tape on it. So the first step is to put the cone on and then you're going to grab your plastic wrap. You can also use tin foil. You just want to place it on here, it does not have to be perfect. I'm going to make a knot at the top of my cone. It's best to double or triple knot it. Then I'm just going to start wrapping it all the way around until I'm at the bottom. So I took my string and I went up and down the cone two times and now I'm going to cut it and Mod Podge. Earlier in the video we said that this tip up here was paper and it's actually a cut up folder, a piece of a folder. Okay guys, so when I do my Christmas trees, I like to Mod Podge it as I go. Or you can do it Reisted, where she just yarn, did her yarn all the way down, and then you guys can Mod Podge it. But I like to do it a little bit as I go. Now I'm going to Mod Podge mine. Okay guys, so we finished doing our yarn and Mod Podge and we're going to let them sit for about two days and we'll come back. We Mod Podge our string and let it sit on the cone for two days. You can try letting it sit for one day, but it, your structure might not be that sturdy. I am going to take a butter knife and pry mine around inside. I'm going to stick the butter knife inside and twist it around to help get my tree loose. Wait, Mom, it's actually not coming. If you do do a big Christmas tree like this, it will be a little bit tougher to get off. <laughs> it's the Grinch. <laughs> okay guys, so as you can see here, my Christmas tree is a little flimsy. So that means I didn't add enough Mod Podge or glue to my Christmas tree. So if this happens to you guys, you can always just put it back on your mold and add more glue. Okay guys, so I'm going to add more Mod Podge. While Riley's putting some more Mod Podge onto her tree, Grace and I are going to take the plastic piece out from our tree. What you're going to do is you're going to grab it and kind of twist and pull at the same time to get the black piece out, just like that. This step is optional, but we are going to glue rhinestones onto our tree. I'm putting clear rhinestones on mine. Riley's tree is very flimsy, so I think mine looks better. <laughs> I'm doing colorful ones. super cool and I think we all had a lot of fun making them. This is probably one of my favorite crafts we've ever done. These would also look great on a Christmas table or for decorations. See you next week. Bye! Bye.